G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up a HP 650. This one's running a i3-2328M. I believe it's got 4 gig of RAM, and it's got a 500 gig hard drive, which I will be replacing to a 240 gig solid state drive. So I'll remove the battery, very straightforward. Slide to unlock. Next panel here, we're in. And we see that we have, I believe it's going to be four gig of RAM, four gig of DDR3. Put that back in. And let's get to the one that we wanted to change, which is down the bottom here. Typically, anything running an i3 2000 series and newer with four gig of RAM, if you throw a solid state drive into the mix, you should get a very snappy web browsing computer out of it. So even though they are almost, what, nine generations old with the 11th gen Intel coming out soon, it's still, still perfectly good, still perfectly usable. Granted, the battery life on these is going to be buggered, but considering the age of it, it doesn't really surprise me. So zoom you guys in a little bit here. Just going to take out the four screws. It's crazy how much this laptop predates modern design. Where in a modern computer you'd take off the 10 screws in the bottom, potentially less, pop the whole bottom cover off and get in. But well, these definitely have a thickness about them and a bit more durability. So I'm just using a crucial BX500, a very base model solid state hard drive, but perfectly adequate for what we want to achieve in this machine. Next up, we have gotta take this little adapter out. Just slides out, and it goes in one way, as you can see. Move it out of the way, plug it into the new drive. Put that in here like so. And then we're gonna reverse what we just did. Put those four Phillips head screws back in. There's really not many tricks to this. Granted, after the hard drive has been installed, I'm going to be doing a fresh reinstall using a Windows 10 installer USB. And being that this machine is running Windows 8, it should automatically detect the product code without a need to really enter a key. So once this is in, the fresh reinstall is done, this machine will pretty much be ready to go. And then perfectly suited for web browsing, whatever else that might wanna do. Granted games, Definitely not in the realm of possibility for this machine. Especially, well, at least modern games. Facebook games and stuff like that. Old school, well, what used to be Flash games, now Facebook games. Should still run perfectly fine on here. So, yeah, just reviving another old machine. There we go. One, two, three, four. Connect it back on. And we are good to put the covers back on now. In here, push down, screw in, we're good. This slides in this way, push down, another screw, and lastly, the battery. And bam, just replace the hard drive on a HP 650. Hope this guys this helps you guys and I'll see you guys later. Bye.